Hey what's up everyone welcome to profit data so today exactly i'm going to talk about how you can get the historical data such as open high low close volume ohlcv okay from alice blue api in python okay so uh, last time also i've been done a video related to uh, getting historical data and the main point in that video was getting the date time okay so if you set that date time and from that url i am able to do that stuff now what happens say suppose uh, you know in previous uh, github page okay so as uh, alice blue which previous github page was there so there were no historical data was there okay so from the api i have been fetched and i have been utilized the stuff okay so you can watch that video now what i'm going to do since i think they have been offered a new version api which is version 2 and uh, the github page for a documentation which you can watch uh, i mean you can check which is py a3 okay and in that each and everything is, is explained okay and today i'm going to make it very much simple okay so the historical data is also plays an important factor okay especially when exactly you are not saving uh, the data Uh, in real time data and not utilizing it okay so i think the best part will be there if you want to fill up somewhere okay the historical data comes into picture okay now if and buts are there in uh, uh, this data okay so like you know if you want to fetch particular interval okay it might won't be again like, you know, available to you okay but that doesn't matter okay so suppose they are giving 1 minute data okay so i think that is the starting point of the data which they are giving so you can utilize that data okay and resample it and can utilize for further your uh, stuff like you know which were interval you were looking for day 5 minute 3 minute okay which were you okay so feel we will go for this thing so first of all i'll go step by step okay so as you can see like you know first thing is required is access token okay so session id is very much important okay so if you get with a version 2 i've been already done a video and particularly whatever uh the older version of their github or say documentation are uh, the same syntax has been given in new itself okay so i think whichever you are doing you can follow the older version of uh, alice blue api okay and can get whatever you want okay only the part data which you fetch will be changes will be there and in second say suppose uh, like you know uh, while getting while getting the data maybe one or two syntax will be changes otherwise everything is uh, good to go okay so i have done some particular videos and code which you can check okay so as of right now we will go with uh, our main points so as i say i am directly copy uh, how to generate the session id so i have been done a video already which is version 2 allies blue okay so please do watch this video it will be helpful uh, to get your api key okay our username you already got and to generate the session id so it is very much important so whichever you folder you are okay so suppose the folder whichever you contain okay this code should be there this algorithm should be there with username api key and when you are getting the session id okay if you just run that thing it will work for you now this to get at first time your alice blue account should be uh, like you know open so if i say that uh you know i need to first of all open this alice blue i mean my, with my username and password i need to get this website and then what happens i just uh, like you know run so at first it should be there then what happens session id got generated so from that if you like uh, try to do anything it will work okay so here i will give the username and uh, api key wherever it is so i know where exactly my api key is there. so that is also you can do you can store somewhere and then if you call it will will be like you know better because i think you are utilizing only one type of credentials for your username and for you your api key so i think this is the best way okay so now what i say is so suppose uh, i don't uh, in this folder particularly i don't have certain kind of a necessity say so suppose this things 
which I have been already generated. So suppose it is not there. Okay, so it should be like you know, should be generated. Okay, so you can run this stuff. Okay, what I'm trying to explain here, you can get from this video. Okay, so please go and watch. So right now only session ID is required and indices everything is there. Now what happens? I particularly see fetching NFO NSE. Uh, it won't be complicated. See, if you ask for exchange, maybe you get to know that this is NSE or this is NFO. But particularly if you get with the indices, say a bank Nifty or say Nifty 50, mid cap Nifty 50, and then uh, Fin Nifty. So, what you can do, you can check from this CSV files. So, each and everything is available, whichever you are looking for. Okay. So if you get with the NFO, particularly tra trading symbol is there, okay, which you need to give. So according to that, only uh, the fetch will be there. Okay, so you have to give that particular symbol. Okay, then only you will be able to fetch that particular stuff. So right now we will go with the indices. So, so suppose if I have to give get with the Nifty uh, Nifty Bank. Okay, so. Uh, exchange is definitely we know okay that will be NSE so but when you are getting in this stuff well, particularly you have to mention that indices because certain the allies dot get instrument by symbol plays an important role okay so that is an important factor okay to uh, get with these things okay uh, the particular syntax should be there okay so suppose if i have say nifty bank so this two things is very much important for me okay so i will give this okay and try to get whatever we are looking for okay so this will be particular what i say you know what type of it is so it is my especially spot symbol i will say if, if it is like i am getting with a option that i will definitely say this is my spot symbol so a, a spot symbol can be anything so whichever you want from that it will be spot symbol of mine so i will give some do like you know some of the input which will be taken care for that so that is also important here now the module is also important so i think two main modules which is important for from day to two day to make it easy not as you like you know you just have to mention each and everything and you are even you don't know that what is the format so better to follow these things to follow this model and put some certain things so what i have to, what I have to say uh, this from date time import date time comma time delta okay uh, so if I if I am giving this uh, certain uh, role, okay. So what I have to say is from date. So which one is starting date? I have to give that thing. So time date will be there. Uh, minus time delta. Okay. So this is the format which you need to say. So days equals whichever you want. Okay. So particularly I go with the interval of one minute okay and days i can change like you know take as a 10 so i think that i can fetch now uh, this two date is also important for me okay so uh, see in this case uh, the calculation will go from uh, whatever the date time is there okay so from now whatever the date time is there the calculation will go from that range okay so previous we are going in a backward direction okay from backward direction i'm getting uh, like you know whatever the requires there i'll try to fix okay so particularly if, if it is uh, 20 is uh, 27th day okay so from 27th day whatever it is there from 10 days i'm exactly getting calculation okay so 336 7 8 19 so like that it will go okay so from 18 from date means 18 and if I say two date means it will be 27 so like that it will go okay so it is as of right now they have made it in simple in this uh, 
like you know uh, github because only required things you need to push and everything will be calculated now what happens uh, i got the date time i got the spot symbol okay and uh, i have to say about uh, my interval whichever interval i am looking for one minute okay two minute so whichever it is uh, so this is the way you can give so one and two so from one i think it, it is a major requirement so if you give one from particular you can do resample further okay so interval will be there so i'm giving us a uh, say spot symbol okay then from date and to date will be there okay and after that interval is also there okay so spot symbol and uh, interval okay so this is how i will go and uh, uh, basically i have to say with our like you know say suppose if it is not a indices so i have to say it is a, if i am say if i am like you know fetching this relax okay particular that is any symbol nsc symbol not the indices so i have to talk about indices as well in this particular syntax you need to follow this stuff so i will say false and if it is i mean not the indices then false if it is indices i will say true okay so what are the things required to push in our uh, this particular uh, syntax of mine which is i have to say token is allies that uh, get instrument symbol which were i'll give it to you so from that it will be there then i have to say about uh, my from date and to date and then interval will be there and then particular indices if it is true or false okay and we are good to go now i have to say token okay and there is uh, allies that get dot instrument by symbol okay so here i have to say indices and then i have to call my spot symbol which where it is okay so even you can give this as an exchange also so it is up to you which were you say say nfo or uh, indices so that is how you can give it so we will give the exchange this spot symbol okay and this is not a part for us as of right now so we delete this stuff now what happens i got each and everything okay so token i got now now i will take it out the main part okay which is uh, the data so what i have to say allies dot get historical so what are the things i have to give token from date so it is now very much simple to date then interval then final whether indices is true or false and i will put this in a data frame so i will call this way Yeah, I will set into data. One more library I have to call, which is pandas. So I will give link in the description. Go follow, or the the code will be available as of right now. Okay, carry this stuff. And one more thing is there. This particular code is very much important. Okay, because I am going to utilize for for other things as well. Okay, so try to. uh work out with these things and do remember okay so this is how i got my open high low close and value okay and even if i have to talk about say reliance so one or two three things which i need to change so what is my exchange what is my trading symbol okay interval will be the same indices it is false
okay so we are good to go okay so this is how i got the value so this things you can utilize in your real time data as well okay where you can fill wherever it is required okay otherwise you can carry from your real time data as well okay which is conversion of a tick by tick data okay so i will end up here if you don't have an account uh, with alice blue check in the description if you want the code check in the description if you have any doubt regarding this video please do comment below in the description okay comment description and if you have any other queries or requirements please do contact me direct via whatsapp thank you